Now, concerning Nigeria-US ties under the Obama administration, uh, I must admit that political and economic relations between Nigeria and the United States did receive considerable boost under both the Clinton and Bush administration. But the gap between the promise and potential is still very wide. On the economic issues, the United States' interest has seemed to be limited to the extractive petroleum industry in Nigeria. We believe that there's need to change this. So under the Barack Obama dispensation, we expect that there will be more investments in agriculture, in uh, ICT, and in, indeed in infrastructure. We, we feel that if the most advanced economy in the world, Nigeria, I mean uh, United States, is able to mobilize a big infrastructure push in Nigeria, indeed that will create jobs, not only in Nigeria, but also in the United States, which could be a big shot in the arm, so useful at a time of widening global recession. For instance, the United States can facilitate the execution of President Mari Yaradwa's seven-point development agenda, especially the vision 2020-20, which is geared towards making good Goldman Sachs' prediction that Nigeria could be one of the 20 leading economies in the world by the year 2020. We want Big Brother America to back us in getting into that destination. The seven-point agenda is aimed at addressing the problem of power and energy, security as a critical infrastructure, employment generation and wealth creation, developing capacity for mass movement of goods and people, addressing the challenges of the education sector, and restoring credibility to the electoral system as well as resolving permanently the crisis in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. Given the vast natural resources of Nigeria and U.S. capital and technological endowments, there are opportunities for expanded trade and investment in agriculture, development of infrastructure, including power and energy, transportation, and human capital development. The facilitation of these programs cannot but be very welcome. Finally, on the issue of some of the matters that I think that it really brings the country together, the two countries, I just need to mention that covering an area of 356,000 square miles, Nigeria is in the neighborhood of the North Atlantic and is about the same size of California, Utah, and Nevada combined. So a partnership with us that recognizes equality and the dignity of each, a partnership that opens all the gates to Africa, a partnership that can serve as a catalyst in the integration of African economy into the world economy, as well as enhance political stability, peace and security in Africa. A partnership that can strengthen civil society and a growing culture of democracy, as well as accelerated, accelerate poverty elevation. And in fact, a partnership that is marked by mutual respect and synergy. That can be a model for a more integrated world in which the boundaries between rich and poor nations do not harden into a new form of apartheid. In the light of what I have said, there is a compelling logic for the development of struggle ties between Africa and the United States, and also, indeed, more specifically, between Nigeria and the United States. Now, what does the future hold? America as an idea belongs to the whole world. America is at its best when it is conscious of being a global heritage. The genius of the founding fathers of the American Republic was the herald of a new humanity. Consequently, what we expect from the administration of President Barack Obama is that America should continue to be an American loyal to the principles upon which it was established. In this context, Nigeria stands ready to partner with the incoming president in advancing the ideals which are espoused through our common and shared values of democracy, good governance, and the rule of law.